to be here. A lot of my stress I felt went away because of this event. I mean, just watching the artists really go in deep into their art, it's it's really, I'm really thankful to them. And we're happy to have the artists together in one venue, in one platform here. It's so happy to see them, you know, take inspiration from Bakota and, you know, find find a, a, a medium to express that. And of course, to also say their stories as um, global Filipinos here in the UAE. I've, I've seen them and despite give, you know being given just one one theme, they've all come up with all sorts of ideas and it's really very refreshing. So, um, well, we, I was talking to um, Professor Sue earlier about, you know, how art has, you know, become quite misunderstood, especially among Filipinos. Well, you know, they say that the art is for the privileged, art is for the educated, when in fact it's for everyone, it's universal. It's a way of expression, it's a way of sharing your one's culture and one's heritage. And I think we have to always go back to that. Um, as artists here in the, in the UAE, all these artists here, I'm so proud of them. They're just, you know, big examples and big models that, you know, wherever we are, we can really excel because Filipinos are very good artists, not just for creative arts and painting but also of course for performing arts for music for for ba ballet etc so it's 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 just quite refreshing and i'm happy that we have all these artists here um they embody what it is to be a global filipino um of course they represent us well here in the uae and they in a way they also help us of course you know um carry the campaign that you know filipinos are not just very creative we're very passionate and we can do a lot of things. I represent my, my painting like uh, a series of doors. These doors will be your your journey or or your your swerte mo kung saan. Para tayong bato na ito. Parang istato ng bato. Na matatag tayo. At the same time, kahit na matatag tayo, andun pa rin yung yung love kahit na nahihirapan ka na dito para basta ikakasaya sa pamilya mo gagawin mo na sa tulong ng Panginoon Take the center stage yung puso natin because I believe that the heart of the Filipinos is something that really sets us apart among every other nation After all the economic fallout and global crisis that we are facing now here's the sign so I put it brighter because there will be another bright tomorrow. So we, we shouldn't be losing hope just like this turtle swimming up to the ribs. Yung color niya sa gitna, parang ito yung, yung, yung liwanag na nagbibigay ng strength para kung paano mo bigyan ng, 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 ng tamang impression ng mga anak mo, kung paano mo sila buhayin. And then yung sa city naman, parang dark line siya na sabihin, then dito tayo, bago saan, palungkot. Pero sa kabila ng kalungkutan, may mga may mga kaura na pinala. Kaya yun ito, maganda. Para i-express pa natin yung buhay natin na doon sa'yo. Yung luggage po, uh, para sa akin, dalawa ko yung mabigat siya. Kasi nandun yung 
yung bigat ng feeling na iiwanan mo yung mga mahal mo sa buhay, aalis ka ng Pilipinas. At the same time, daladala mo po yung hope na magbibigyan mo po ng magandang kinabukasan ng family. Pinaplay ko po siya sa life ko ngayon. I am working as an analyst and my left, my right and left brain po are both working and I'm also an artist working as a graphic designer at the same time. So, ito po ang um, nagsisimbolizes po ng corporate world po. The most beautiful people in the world are the Filipinos. This is represented by the colorful artwork by yours probably out there. So, so, we are the most uh, happy people in the world. Like, even we are grieving, we are mourning. Put the camera in front, say, say smile, and we will put that beautiful smile on our faces. So, this represents the Filipinos, and I think this is the most beautiful thing that I can connect to Expo 2020. Because this is the greatest show for all. For all of us, especially the Filipinos. Let's come to papunta dito sa abroad. And then, akala ko okay, ganun. Tapos, mahirap pa na. So, may times na, na ano pa, lonely ka, matawag ka sa Panginoon. Tapos, parang ano na, yung pag-asa mo is kalahati na lang. Pero hindi ako na wala ng pag-asa. Kahit sa uh, proud ako na naging cleaner ako dito sa Dubai. Tsaka sa Kuwait. Naging brave ako. Na na-achieve ko naman yung gusto. Sunod makikita niyo siya mga wooden panel na nakapako, na, na naging self-portrait siya. This represent all the failures, all the happiness, all the friends na nakasalamuha ako dito sa Dubai. That's why nabuo ang isang self-portrait. Nabuo ang isang artist na tulad ko. Which is, ang isa, the last elements is, kung makikita niyo yung balance niya, mala, mas malaki yung langit, di ba? Yung horizon niya. Kinalaki ko yung lunch, which is nagre-represent ng isang malaking opportunities na naghihintay kung ano man meron ako dito sa Dubai. This is, this is me as an artist na ngayon naglalayap patungo sa aking pangarap, para sa aking pamilya, at para sa aking family. Thank you. Ang galing tayo sa isang bahay kubo. At uh, habang tayo ay naglalakbay, kasabay natin ang ating pagmamahal sa ating kalikasan, at ang ating pagkakaisa at pagmamahal sa kapwa at ito ang aking mga bagay na nakikita ko sa aming kasama happiness ko dahil dito ko napatapos sa lugar na ito aking so ito yung mga bagay na aking kaligayahan happiness ko so nabuhay pa rin tayo ng Pilipino at ang pagkakaisa natin sa ating this is me coming in this country bringing the wealth of knowledge, all right? So for me, knowledge is wealth, knowledge is power, and if you have that knowledge, no one can take that from you. So you can see in, in there is some of the education and the nationals that I have trained in this country. So if I leave tomorrow, I know that I have returned the services and the goodness of this country by being a part of the educational industry of this country.
is your uh, take and what would you like to share regarding the Tom Alvarado and the Arctic Printers participating for Brancota and Shaky Sporting Us? Well, firstly, uh, I'd like to wish everyone a very good afternoon and I'd like to thank Ms. Uh, Marlene Murphy, the founder and chairman of Artipreneurs, and also I'd like to acknowledge Ms. Charmaine Yalong, our Philippine um, commercial attaché, and most especially to Her Excellency Ms. Jaceline Quintana, our Philippine ambassador. Well, Shakey's is always going to be in support, and uh, I'd like to emphasize, I'd like to, you know, um, thank again everyone here, especially the collaborators for choosing Shakey's as the venue. You know, uh, Shakey's is always going to be in support for this uh, event, particularly on the uh, Expo 2020.